Whether you're a backyard or commercial grape grower, there are some fundamental principles that will help you manage fungal diseases. Knowing the diseases to which your vines are susceptible will help determine what control measures you should take. For example, Concord vines are much less susceptible to downy mildew than powdery mildew, while European grape vines are generally susceptible to most diseases. Knowing the vine's growth stage will also help determine timely management of specific fungal diseases. For example, Phomopsis infects vines earlier during the growing season than downy mildew does. All fungal pathogens rely on rainfall to sporulate, but some need more rain than others. Chemical spray intervals can be lengthened during extended periods of dry weather. For instance, downy mildew relies on rainfall, but powdery mildew only needs wetness in the spring. Therefore, downy mildew is a common issue in vineyards in the eastern U.S. Cultural controls include any management measures you can take to reduce the amount of time grape canopies are wet, such as proper canopy management. This can include shoot thinning, hedging, fruit zone leaf removal, weeding, and good soil water drainage. Convict sites with good airflow and full sunlight are optimal. Most fungicides are applied as a preventative measure. It's vital to consult the chemicals label to know what rates to apply, when to apply it, and what diseases it is designed to control. For instance, Mancaseb's label says that it must be discontinued 66 days before harvest. Rotating chemicals you use is an effective way to ensure diseases don't build a resistance to your pesticides. Diseases may affect plant parts differently and have varying symptoms. It's important to know what different diseases look like so you can properly identify them and accordingly implement effective control measures.